Hey, Jesus Christ bless you family. This is Kevin. Hey, just wanted to do a quick video on the ACTS prayer method. I'm not sure if any of you guys have heard of it. It stands for uh, Adore, Confess, Thanksgiving, and Supplication. And this is a, a prayer method that a buddy from Bible Study Fellowship taught me a few years ago early. Actually, even before I got um, before I got saved about seven, eight years ago. Uh, it always kind of stuck in my mind. And uh, anyways, wanted to share with you. Um, I feel like the Lord, as he's rewired me and made me a new creation, has really gifted me with the uh, ability to pray and the desire to pray. And I've been told, um, you know, that I, that I pray good. So praise the Lord. <laughs> good for something. All right, so here it is real quick, uh, ACTS. So when I do this, um, and I do hope this blesses someone, especially who wants to pray more and maybe feels like they don't know how to or they're not good at it or whatever um, be reading your scripture definitely so that you can get uh, you can hear the voice of the Lord and um, and you know you will just get formed in fashion and you will be excellent uh, in all things in a, in a godly walk in service unto Christ Jesus so with ACTS I usually flip-flop the A and the C so I start with the C and then I do the A and then I do the TS so basically I do cats it's kind of hilarious, but uh, the C, so the confess of sin. So basically what I do, and this, you do this, at least I do this everything, uh, like first thing in the morning, I believe in giving the Lord your first fruits and starting a day like this. So after I read from like five different uh, chapters of scripture, I get into the, the cats. So C is confess. So I come before the Lord and I say, Lord, I, I, I bring unto you and I confess, I confess unto you and please forgive me for and then I'll just kind of search my conscience, my mind. And I'm not even speaking out loud. Like, this is all in my heart and everything. So I'll do that. Like, for example, I might say, Lord, forgive me for, you know, not guarding my thoughts, not holding every thought captive to Christ, for being prideful, for being frustrated with so-and-so at work, for not speaking more about you when I had an opportunity, things like that. And as you do it kind of silently in your spirit, uh, you kind of cruise and stuff. And it's, um, you can cover a lot in, in a few minutes. So... I like to begin with that because I like to keep my account short with the Lord. And um, then I can approach the throne room with more boldness and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I like to begin. Uh, so I'll do that. Then I go right into the A, the adoration. That means to adore the Lord, praise him, give him glory because he's worthy of it. I'll say, Lord, and I do a real quick thing. I do, um, I say, Lord, I cinch up the armor of God that we learned about in Ephesians. I say, Lord, I cinch up the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, and the boots of the gospel of peace. And I say, I'm ready to take up the sword of the Spirit, the shield um, of faith, and the helmet of salvation. I read a book by Pastor John MacArthur talking about those things. You should always have those first three on. You never take them off. You just cinch them up. And then those other three, you don't always use, but you have them at the ready. So I basically come into the Lord's presence, you know, properly and you know, in a sober mind, and um, let him know, you know, I'm serious about my walk and about who he is, showing him awe and reverence and uh, respect and fear. And then I just get into it in terms of, I go, Lord, uh, you are awesome. You are perfect. You are beautiful. You are my heart's desire. And I say three things also. I say, you are creator. I am creation. You are master. I am slave. You are Abba God. I am your son. <clears throat> Holy Spirit just kind of put those things on my spirit to speak as these are truths and these that's another way to give the lord glory and honor is by just speaking truths that's an awesome thing when something does what it's supposed to do it gives the lord glory when a, a bird flies it gives the lord glory when a fish swims it gives the lord glory because it's doing what it's supposed to do so i say those such things giving them glory and i praise them and i thank them um so then i move into thanksgiving the tea uh, thanksgiving I said Lord I come before you and I in a spirit of thanksgiving and I thank you for um, and I start off with four things then I can kind of flow into whatever I say Lord I come in you in a spirit of thanksgiving for Jesus Christ for his flesh for his precious blood shed for me for the Holy Spirit and for your word and then I get into other things uh, for shelter food drink clothing for my car working right for employment, for blessing, for fellowship, for my pastors, for the people on YouTube who bless me, 
worship music that blesses me, my dear wife, uh, my dogs, freedom most of my life, healing after illness and injury. These are just some examples, but just do the repetitions, the, the Holy Spirit will lead you. And lastly, supplication, the S. Supplication is another word for like petition. This is, when you think of prayer, this is what a lot of people um, think of. They think of like asking for things. And I like that this is the last thing. Let's uh, do those greater things first. Praise the Lord, confess our sins, thank Him. Then, then we can ask Him for what we need. Uh, so supplication, I pray for very specific structured things as well. Specific people who have asked for it, people I've met along the way who've touched me. My wife, my household, people at work, past enemies, um, you know, government leaders, even the president. I don't spend a lot of time on it because, you know, they're devilish, but pray for their conversion and such things. And um, what other examples can I give you guys with that stuff? Um, yeah, anyway, supplications. So just whatever you might need, whatever you need. Uh, if people have told you prayer requests or things you're feeling in your spirit, or if you got something daunting or pressing coming up. So I wanted to share this, guys, uh, and keep it relatively short. Uh, the Lord has gifted me with the ability to pray. I can see it. I can see it. It flows. It's super easy. When I start praying, whether it's in a group of 20 people or a few people or just solo, like I love it because I, I feel like it's teeing up the Lord and he's going to just smash it with like a with a um, with a driving, you know, with a wood, with a one wood, just smash it like a golf ball, you know, like teeing up the Lord. Because I've seen him do so many things, and I feel like uh, this is a great opportunity. I love to pitch it to the Lord and see what he's going to do. So the C-A-T-S or the A-C-T-S method, guys, take it into consideration. Pray the Holy Spirit. See if it's a proper way that you might be led to pray. I believe if you use it, you will be blessed. You'll get good at it. You'll be efficient. You'll see things happen. Jesus Christ bless you. Love you. Bye.